Hey, what's up everyone? It's Letitia with Barefoot Gardening. Do you see that little thing right there? Oh, isn't it gorgeous? It's a little white butterfly. Yeah, that's what I thought before I actually knew what it was. Uh-huh. Go on, get out of here. This is uh, the white, is it the white cabbage moth? Cabbage moth, is that what that is? Anyway, it's a pest, and I'll put the correct description in the box, or y'all can tell me in the comments below. But this little butterfly likes to lay eggs on your brassicas, mostly. Um, it looks like the white cabbage moth to me, but it has a black spot on the wing. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look again, but likes to lay eggs on your brassica plants and your brassica plants are anything like your cabbages, lettuces, see how I just landed there? Um, lays eggs and then those little larvae eat your um, plants up, okay? So I got some BT to handle that if I need to, but uh, BT for beginners is just another garden safe um, I think it's deemed to be organic. See, he's hitting all of my cabbages, these extra cabbage plants I got over there um, and everything. So yeah, I think it's what it is. I think it's what it is. But anywho, um, let's see if I can get a close shot. He'll be still. That's not why I came on here, but the sucker popped up as I was starting to record. Gosh, you won't be still long enough, y'all, for me to follow him. Anywho, let me move on. Um, a, little, like, a little nice surprise in the garden is, yeah, and this, I'm sorry, this butterfly is distracting me. So, it also has some white on it. It's not completely, I mean, yellow. It's not completely white. Anywho, a little surprise, pleasant surprise. Look at there. A nasturtium finally bloomed. I didn't think I was gonna see blooms because this weather has been so hot and then cool and then hot, hot again. And nasturtiums like cool weather. They look a little like they need to be watered. But in that cool, ooh, do I have a, my, uh, a leaf miner issue? Do y'all see that? This right here. That might be a leaf miner. I've never seen that in my garden ever. But I think that's what it is. And the only way to get rid of it is to take the, the infected leaf off. So let me do that. And I'm going to put him somewhere else. Oh my goodness. There's all kinds of things happening today. Little buddy's been outside for 24 hours. And he seems like he's doing okay. I'll talk about this in another video. Called a lot of ants. But we'll talk about that later. Let me get to what I'm getting to. But little buddy looks good. So I went to Lowe's today and I just stopped by, especially when I don't have a little bit girl farmer because, uh, you know, you just get to do things freely. The Lowe's in my era has not carried citrus trees for 13 years. And look what I found. What is that? Now, when I tell y'all, I had I had to, I was so excited. I know I look crazy to people, but I couldn't even calm down long enough to check the tree out to see what type of lemon it was. And you will never guess that it's a Meyer lemon. And I never thought I would ever see a Meyer lemon in my face in my lifetime. I know you can order from different, uh, you know, different, uh, places online but I just never thought it would happen this is one of the things that I've, I've wanted for a long long time I can't tell you how long it's been since I've wanted a Meyer lemon tree and there it is and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on it to happen and it has finally happened this is one of two trees that was there that had blooms on it, it looked like a lot of the blooms have fallen off um, let me see if I can find it here. You see that? But there, there are some blooms. Um, uh, there were pollinators on them, so I'm hoping to have some fruit. There was only one tree that had one lemon on it, but I figured, look, I got little, um, let me see if I can get it on the camera, sorry. Pollinator in there now. 
but this is a Meyer lemon. Then I went real crazy because they had a, a calamondin tree and my daughter loves those. This particular tree is full of fruit and it's a great looking tree, right? But look at all of this fruit, those little bitty, you see that? Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere you look, there's little fruits. And then honey, I whipped it around and realized there's two big ones. I lost my mind, three big ones. Lost my mind. So I am so pumped up now. I have watched a lot of videos about citrus trees but you know you just watch a lot of stuff and take it in and then it's gone and you watch it again take it in it's gone so I am a beginner gardener and a beginner fruit tree owner so any comments that um, you all share I will I, I promise you I will take heed to them but please as a beginner citrus tree owner what's the first thing I should do I think I'm going to leave them in the pots for a while. They look like they're fine. But what should I do? I know I do need to take these in. Um, you know, once temperatures get below 32 degrees, uh, probably before that I will be taking these in the house to overwinter them. Um, but, yeah. What, what should I do as a beginner uh, citrus tree owner? Thank you all so much for watching. I, man, I'm just so excited. This has really made my day. Really made my day. I can't even tell y'all right now. <laughs> I can't even share with y'all what I feel. It's crazy. But I finally got what I wanted. And I think I'm going to stop with trees for a while. Um, <laughs> the fiend says, right? But no, I, I really do. Um, I haven't given them names. To me, these look like girls. So if you all have any name ideas that would be amazing let me know but to me these feel like ladies and so I want to name them you know as such they are ladies so thank you all again for watching I love y'all so much and I'll talk to you all later bye